Are you kidding? Come on. Just get off the road. Yo, yo, yo. I'm out here on my daily run on Oliver Road, British Columbia. Arguably one of the most scenic and beginner friendly barefoot running roads that you can find around here. Um, so yeah, this is day 55 and everything is going swell so far. I'm working up an appetite today because we're actually starting a new experiment. So on top of running every day, on top of trying to film as much as I can, on top of my calisthenics workout routine, I'm going to be trying a diet experiment as well. I'm going to be eating one meal a day. And uh, yesterday I got in about 2,600 calories in my one meal, which is arguably a little too low. So today I'm working up an appetite to see how much I can actually fit in in like a two hour window. I'm aiming for probably about 4,000 calories, but the goal is not to be keto, not to be high carb, just to go and eat what my body's craving. So I'm probably gonna have sweet potatoes today, ground beef, maybe some other vegetables, jalapenos, stuff like that. And um, the reason I'm doing this is because I noticed that I'm trying to be productive. Like I'm trying to be as productive as possible. So on top of having a full-time job, running every day, calisthenics every day, stretching every day, editing every day, posting on Instagram every day. I just don't have the time to cook. Well, I do have the time, but it's just not giving me enough time to do the other things that I just mentioned. And I wanna produce high quality content. And uh, I know producing content every day while you're working a full-time job isn't really conducive to that, but right now we're just seeing how it goes. So I'm gonna try and get all my food in between a two to four hour window daily, you know, and then explore the benefits of those longer fasts, right? Like my workouts every morning have been fasted and I like doing that because then I don't get cramps, right? So we're gonna see if things get better from here. Can I even up my performance? Can I up my gains and in cardio and in, in, in the muscles, right? I think that I will be able to, but it's gonna take a lot of discipline. Like today, since I only had 2,600 calories last night, I woke up pretty hungry. I would say like maybe a two, three out of five. So not ideal. Ideally, I'd wanna wake up with absolutely no hunger, be able to make it through a day of work, and then immediately on, upon returning home, I can make my dinner and sit down and feast. So yeah, we're gonna aim for 4,000 calories today. And yeah, if we can get that in on a consistent basis, then this experiment should go pretty well. I've experimented with OMAD before, but I wasn't eating as much meat back then. And the meat that I was eating was like steak. So it was really expensive and kind of prohibitive in getting more meat in. So I'm definitely gonna be focusing on ground beef and like maybe some other cuts, but not as much ribeye, <laughs> maybe once a week or something, because eating one meal a day worth of ribeye, that's gonna be like at least three steaks worth or more. And depending on where you go to buy them, that's like $60, $70. Definitely a little on the not affordable side, especially for me in my current situation. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. And uh, we're probably gonna try and go for one week first and maybe go a little longer if things are going well. But uh, yeah, I'll meet up with you guys soon. I'm gonna finish this run off. I'm gonna do a couple repeats of this road and then go make uh, my meal. All right, so I'm back from my run. I had my workout and my shower and I prepared some food. As you can see, I have a mountain of grub in front of me. Probably totals about five pounds and possibly about 4,000 calories. Uh, this is 
to make up for what I feel was a little bit lacking of a day yesterday. So this is day two of eating one meal a day. And ultimately, besides just productivity reasons, it's just nice to be able to fit all your food into one window of time because it, it's easier to track, you know. Um, you're by necessity going to be eating a simpler diet and um, it's just going to be easier to control what you're getting in. The only thing that you want to be careful of is making sure that all your micronutrient needs are being met because while it might be relatively easy to meet your macronutrient needs, um, most micronutrient needs are met through a variety and so you want to make sure that you're eating very nutrient dense foods in order to get those nutrients in. So for example today in front of me I got four sweet potatoes, two pounds of ground beef, about 100 grams of aged cheddar, uh, then there's some onions and some jalapenos in there. It was cooked in about two tablespoons of beef tallow and then I put another two tablespoons of butter on top and then I have rehydrated figs on the side for dessert. So yeah it's probably going to take me about an hour and a half to two hours to get through all this and I will let you know how I feel afterwards. So that was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. I got about 3,700 calories down in 45 minutes. Perhaps that might not be the most relatable type scenario for most people. I've been a binge eater my whole life, so I've kind of practiced for this for many years. But other than that, I think I got it down because the food just tasted good. So. If you're eating one meal a day or are you doing some sort of time-restricted eating, like a narrow eating window, make sure your food is palatable. If it's not, you're going to dread it. You want to make sure that you're excited to sit down and have your meal and then it's not too calorically, um, like you want to make sure that it's calorically dense as well or else you're just not going to be able to eat 8-10 pounds of food in one sitting. It's I mean, it's nearly impossible. It's food challenge style, right? Other than that, I'm excited to see whether or not I can maintain this endurance type activity level as well as my calisthenics routine while doing this type of diet. Um, in the long term, I don't plan on continuing with this for forever because I do believe that being flexible is probably the best way to eat. So <laughs> I'll probably be trying this out for like a week or so, two weeks, and I'll be documenting it daily and taking you guys along on the journey to see, you know, how things develop. Uh, overall, I'm excited and yeah, I hope to kind of include a little bit more information as to how you can make sure that you're meeting your micro and macronutrient needs while doing one meal a day. Anyways, see you guys later.